Hey folks, uh, how many of you guys have uh, heard of a weather stick? So, one we seen was a uh, branch cutting part of the stalk of the tree, uh, cut in half and only one branch. So when it's pointing down, it's bad weather. Pointing up is good weather. But I like this idea. It's frowning, bad weather's coming. And if it's up this way, smiling, good weather. So this is a uh, fir tree. It's about, uh, this is a little small one. But uh, it's best to start with about an inch diameter and quarter inch and then peel the bark off with four inches of the trunk of the tree and quarter inch branches uh, offset each other. And then uh, strip it, let it dry, hang it up under an eave. I just hung this one here for demonstration for today. So now, how do you make one? So you use a fir tree. This is a balsam fir here. This is a white or scotch pine. Now to identify a fir tree, the needles are flat. So if you take a needle off, it won't roll between your fingers. If it rolls between your fingers, you have a spruce tree. So this is a balsam fir. This one's a little thick for what we want, so we'll grab a smaller one, and then uh, I'll show you how to make it from there. Like this one here, perfect size. About an inch in diameter, two branches directly across from each other. We'll probably grab this one. So I'll grab the saw and uh, meet you out front. All right, so I uh, harvested that uh, balsam fir tree. This is what you're looking for, two branches right across from each other. Same as right here. So this is a little too small up here. So what I've done is cut a section below this. And I've stripped all the little branches. And it's just a matter of pulling them down and then stripping it makes the stripping the bark easier. So this looked like this two minutes ago. All right, so now let me grab a knife. This stalk is a, this trunk section is a little long, so I'll probably cut it off about here. Just gonna score it. I'll actually break it off after. So now, I like taking the knife and just kind of scraping it. You're just taking the bark off. You're not trying to make it smaller. A good sharp knife makes short work of this. So I'll continue to uh, strip this and then uh, I'll fire the video back up here in a second. Alright, so uh, we've got the second one here where we started stripping, and uh, it's the first one. So these have to dry now, so they can uh, sit, they're best mounted underneath an eave, like on a shed or barn, your house, whatever. Uh, and they have to be upside down of the way they grew in the tree. And then once these are dry and acclimated to the weather, they'll actually start smiling or frowning. To predict the weather. So that's the most important part. Hang them upside down underneath your eave. You can actually put a nail through it or uh, drill a hole through it and hang it right on a, a finish nail or something. I just use a piece of leather, loop it and just hang it, suspend it that way. But they have to be upside down, opposite of the way the tree grew. So there's your Canadian weather stick, your wilderness weather stick. Thousands of names for it but it's weather predictor. So cheers for now.